so I am back today with a little different video. Um, I know in my other videos I had kind of mentioned I was focusing on this whole self-care thing, um, trying to encourage and inspire others to do the things that they enjoy doing uh, that bring you joy uh, for self-care. So you're probably thinking from the title, well, what the heck does a Dollar Tree haul have to do with self-care? Does this crazy lady just like to shop? That is not the case. Um, <clears throat> if, as you've probably seen in my last videos, I do enjoy crafting. I do enjoy DIY projects. I enjoy watching YouTube DIY projects for inspiration and ideas. And if anybody does the same, you know that Dollar Tree is a huge spot for DIY holiday seasonal craft inspiration. So um, I've been kind of on the Halloween vibe this last week. I've had all my fall decorations up now for, <coughs> excuse me, my allergies are terrible. Um, I've had all my fall stuff up now for a good couple of weeks. And typically I don't really go all out for Halloween decorations just because I like the way the fall stuff you can leave up kind of all season um, until it's time to start putting the Christmas stuff up. But this year, I don't know, for some reason I'm kind of feeling the Halloween vibe. I think it's because this year's been such a bummer with this whole pandemic thing. And this year Halloween's on a Saturday. Uh, there's going to be a full moon. It's, it's the perfect Halloween. And of course, what's going to ruin it? COVID. Um, you know, they're talking about canceling Halloween, no trick-or-treating, so I just feel like I want to still bring some of that into my house to still make Halloween fun. Uh, the kids have missed out on so much this last year with school and not being able to do activities and see their friends and not understanding why, really. Um, so whether I just do something here fun in my house or I incorporate it somehow into Halloween, if there is a Halloween, I don't know. Um, but I'm just going to show you the stuff that I picked up today. Um, so I picked up a few different random odds and ends things. Um, I picked up these little treat bags. I don't know if you can see, they've got this little haunted house on them. They're just zipper bags. Um, there's 30 of them in here. Um, I'm probably going to end up actually using these for my coworkers. I always like to do something fun for the holidays. So I'll probably just fill these with some kind of little snack mix either I make, or if I decide to be lazy and just buy some candy. Either way, these will work great for that. So these are really cute. I don't know how well you can see them. Uh, then I picked up, they've got some really cute Halloween, you know, party plates, napkins this season. Um, I think they have four different designs of these. I just picked up two. Again, I'm not planning a party or anything, but who knows? We may decide to do our own little Halloween party trick or treat thing to try and make it fun for everybody. So I picked up this design, which I think is super cute. Just little pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns, with the matching napkins. Um, they got little candy corns and stuff on them, so that one's really cute. And then I picked up this set as well, which is the little spooky haunted house and the matching napkins. And you get 18 of each, which is a pretty good, I mean, that's a pretty good amount for a dollar, so. Those will get used whether it's for a party or just, a, you know, a little special activity or just to use during the season. We will use those. Um, something else un-Halloween related that I picked up that I had seen other people um, mention in their videos. And I had not come across these at my Dollar Tree. But I don't know if anybody else uses these uh, collapsible storage cubes. I've got a couple shelves that hold them. They're great for putting in just junk, blankets, you know, whatever. Uh, I have probably four, I, I don't know, five or six of them here in my house. But Dollar Tree is carrying this buffalo plaid uh, cube storage, which is super cute, super trendy right now. I know I've been loving this buffalo plaid since last winter. Uh, so I've got it everywhere in my house and in my seasonal decorations. So I picked up a couple of these, <clears throat> completely un-Halloween related. Uh, the next thing I picked up is this pair of socks. I don't know if you guys can see, but they look kind of like mummies. They have little eyeballs on them. 
And I saw somebody in another DIY use these as a Halloween craft, which is why I picked them up because I'm going to do the same thing. I then bought two of these glass, I don't know, canisters, vases, whatever you want to call them. And what she did is slip them over that vase to, you know, as a cover. I did check out in the store to make sure they would fit. These are pretty stretchy, so they will fit over this vase. And then you can just pop a little, one of those little battery operated um, tea lights inside or something. Pop it in somewhere for a little bit of Halloween. <clears throat> like I said, I have fall everywhere. So I don't know that I'm necessarily going to take that stuff down and put up Halloween. But I'm trying to find a way to kind of just pop some little Halloween stuff into that once October comes. So I think this will be a cute way to do that. So I picked up two of these and a pair of these socks. So there's an idea if you're looking for a fun, cute little project that's Halloween. Um, let's see. Next I picked up, this is something I think new that they've done the last, I think since last fall, <clears throat> these little wooden um, box signs. Some of them are really cute. Some of them are kind of cheesy. I mean, I mean either way, they're, they're it's a card like a cardboard sign. It's not, you know, heavy. It's not fancy. It's a dollar. But I think this one is really cute for a dollar. I think it looks super high end. And I will probably use this one. Um, I may take this into my office at work actually for just a Halloween decoration. Um, I know a lot of people take these apart <clears throat> and use them for frames for other projects. So that's a great idea for a buck. Um, so I picked up this one to actually use as a decoration. Uh, this one here, I do not love. I don't love the coloring, the picture, anything, the pattern. I know some people like this gingham on the side and like to use it for something else. I'm actually going to use this for a base for another project with for something else that I picked up. Um, so I'll just be painting it and it's just a dollar base rather than going to find a piece of wood to use for the project I'm going to do. The next I picked up these Halloween signs. Sorry, let me get my water out of the way. Um, first I picked up this one, uh, which is just kind of a traditional Halloween, you know, says witches, beware, spooky, boo, um, just the traditional orange and white and black. I do like this line <clears throat> of stuff that Dollar Tree is doing this Halloween season that's kind of, has more kind of like traditional, like vintage feel to it. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with this or how I'm going to use it, but I think it would look cute either as like a freestanding sign. You could, I mean, you could just hang it as is and it would be cute. Uh, but I'm going to use it in some kind of a DIY, whether it's a wreath or another project that I make. So I picked up one of those. I don't have a set plan for it yet, but I will keep you posted. The next, I picked up two of these. I have been loving these and watching everybody's projects that they're making with this. This whole little truck concept that they've now turned into Halloween. I love, again, the super like traditional Halloween colors and the kind of vintage look. Um, I'm going to make, that's actually this piece here that I bought. I'm going to paint this black and I'm gonna use it to make like a freestanding sign out of one of these. Uh, that I can use somewhere. Again, just to tuck it in with the rest of like my my fall stuff that's already up. But then I picked up, I also think this would look super cute in a wreath. So I don't know if it's a wreath I will use or if it's something I'll look to sell or, you know, offer to somebody if they they would like it. But this is also really cute. I think it would look great in a wreath with just, again, those traditional colors of the orange, white, black, um, it also pairs, I think, really well with this Halloween ribbon that Dollar Tree is carrying right now. I think it's really cute. Again, it has that same kind of vintage, nostalgic Halloween feel to me. I don't know if anybody else knows what I'm talking about or sees my vision, but I will keep you posted on whatever wreath I make out of this. So I picked that up as well. <clears throat> Um, I have a bunch of mesh here. Um, I don't think I, you need to see all of it. I have a couple different wreaths I need to make for a couple of friends. Um, I have one to do that's more of like a horror, 
Um, I have a friend who's a horror movie fan, so I'm going to try to do something kind of black and red and a little more scary for her. And then I've got another uh, Halloween one that somebody's asked me to do. So I will be working on those, I think, in the next couple weeks. So I just picked up a bunch of their the dollar store mesh to do those. And, oh, this was a totally random purchase as well. Um, again, if you've watched Dollar Tree hauls, you've probably seen these tumblers you cannot beat these as far as i'm concerned i have one or six for every season holiday whatever um but i use these every day you know i drink a cup of coffee at home take it with me to work and then usually have one more cup there these work great for that um they're not super fancy but they they do the trick i mean they're not going to keep your coffee super hot forever or anything like that but the they're very cute. I know they have another set right now that I've seen a lot of people share. Um, I think one has the red trucks. One has like a bicycle pattern. I think some pumpkins in like a green color. I'm on the hunt for those. I would really like the truck one and the one with the pumpkins on it. But they have not shown up in the two stores that I hit here. This was the only one they had left in um, this collection. I think there's four different color or maybe three, three or four different colors and sayings. But they are, they do look super high end with the like gold lettering on there. Um, so this will definitely get used uh, for me going to work. And it says fall weather calls for a cozy sweater. Super cute for the fall. I'll probably actually use this one tomorrow because it's adorable. And then I think I have my last things here. Oh, just a couple more. I also picked up the this decorative banner. They have two different prints of these. Um, I don't you can't really see on that side, but you can probably see up on the top here. It's just got the little witch's legs on it, but this one has the brooms in between, which I just thought was really cute. Again, I don't know where exactly I'm gonna do this or do with this. But I'll just pop it up somewhere to add a little bit of a touch of Halloween, whether it's, you know, the day of Halloween if we do something or just for the month of October, just to kind of add a little fun into the fall decorations I already have up. Um, aside from the truck sign that I purchased two of, I think these are probably my favorite of everything that I hauled today. Um, the window clings. I feel like Dollar Tree has absolutely stepped up their game on the window clings for Halloween this year. It was so hard for me to choose which ones to buy. Uh, thankfully, I have, let's see, two, four, six. Oh gosh, I, I have seven of them. So, hello windows. Um, thankfully, I have two good size picture windows here in my house that I'll be able to use some of them on. And then I've also got an office, or a window in my office at work that I originally bought some for that I, I was planning to use. But then I saw all of these and I was like, I need all of them. So first up, can we just say this one, Home Sweet Haunted Home. This is adorable. And that Home Sweet Haunted Home cling is one big cling. So um, it's pretty good size. And then all these other little pieces like the spider webs and the bats um, and the spider those are all smaller pieces to use around it. So I think these would be really good on like my picture windows, but they're so stinking cute. So I bought two of those because I have two good size windows I could use those on. Um, I may not use them on there. These would also be good, um, the Home Sweet Haunted Home, because it's so large, it would actually be good for like a DIY project if, if you wanted to make uh, like a sign, maybe on a piece of wood or something like that, or even in a frame. You know, you could just Mod Podge that onto something and use it that way. It doesn't necessarily have to be a window clean. So just an idea, if you come across this and like it, it could be used for something else because it's it's a good size. So I love those. Um, then the next two, um, I think I bought two of each of the ones and, and only one of the other one because they only had one. But these next two are... Kind of more like witchy, like witch's brew type of things. Double, double, toil and trouble. The witch is in. Pick your poison. So I thought these were super cute. And I got two of those. 
These next ones go along the same line, and I love these two. But I think I may end up combining these. Maybe, well, I don't know. Maybe I'll mix and match. Who knows? I'll, I'll figure it out. This one is also cute, and it's got glitter in it, so it, they're kind of shimmery. But it's the same kind of thing. Witch's Brew, Hocus Pocus with a little cauldron, and Pick Your Potion. It's just got some little potion boxes, or boxes, bottles, things like that. So that one is super cute. I had not seen this one until today, so I will definitely be using these. And these were the first ones I picked up, actually. I just picked these up, actually, to take to work to hang in my office window um, for Halloween. But I do love this one. This here is a big, one big cling that says Hocus Pocus with the cauldron. And again, it's still just got like the potions and stuff. So the same kind of theme. But I love Hocus Pocus. It's one of my favorite Halloween movies. So this I was loving. And again, this this whole Hocus Pocus cauldron part is one cling. So you wouldn't necessarily have to use it for a window. Again, you could do a DIY out of this. You could make a sign. Um, you could buy a large frame to put it in with some scrapbook paper, whatever. I mean, they're killing it with these, honestly. this These are great. So this is the last thing I got, um, like I said, other than the mesh that I bought for the wreath wreaths that I'm going to make. So anyway, um, yeah, so that's my thing that I did today and I'm looking forward to getting started on some of this. Like I said, we're what, a couple weeks away from October. So I feel like I've got a couple weeks to kind of throw some things together and make some things to kind of tuck in and, and add in little bits of Halloween to my current fall decorations. Um, I've never, like I said, I've never been huge at decorating for Halloween because it just doesn't always seem to jive with my other fall stuff. So, um, but I think I can make most of this stuff work with what I already have up. So if any of you have any um, suggestion, suggestions or ideas about how you decorate for both, um, you know, do you decorate just for fall? Do you decorate just for Halloween? Do you take your fall decorations down and put your Halloween stuff up? Do you do a little of both? I'm just curious to, to see what other people do. So any feedback, comments, um, suggestions, ideas would be great. I'd love to hear them. And yeah, I will certainly plan to share with you at a later time what I do with all of these things. I probably won't do a DIY video of my actual crafting um, because typically when I craft, it's just kind of, you know, I do it for a while. I come away, I go away from it. I come back and, um, it's more of a kind of relaxing thing for me. I turn on some YouTube, some music, whatever. Um, so a tutorial is probably not really something I'm going to do, but I will, um, come back and show you the projects that I make, uh, from these things or how I end up using them. So and if any of you have any ideas or projects that you've done on your own, I'd love to see them. Feel free to share them. Um, you can find me also on Instagram. And I would love for you to follow me there and share your, tag me in your projects and ideas. That would be great. And I think that's it. So thank you guys for stopping in and any feedback is appreciated. And I look forward to sharing with you what happens with all of these things. So, all right guys, I will talk to you later. Thanks for